Hey there guys, Teacher Brianna here at Tiny Cabin Montessori. So today I wanted to give you a lesson or show you how to give a lesson on the tray of nines, which is one of my most favorite lessons to give. And I think Stevie might be joining us, so we'll see, see what she does. Sometimes she gets a little spooked. <laughs> so the tray of nines is a really amazing way to reinforce one through 10. And also it shows how we get to build such large numbers. So as you can see, I've got my green felt mat down here. And ideally what you would have, which I just don't have with me right now, is a felt mat with a grid. So it would have a top, on top it would have a U for units, a T for tens, a <laughs> H for hundreds, and over here a TH for thousands. And they would basically be a grid with lines running down the middle to keep them separated. So let's just use our imaginations and pretend that's what's happening right now. Okay, so here we go. Now, do you remember what this is? That's right, one unit. Let's count and see how many we have. One unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, you don't want to dump these, but here we are, five units, six units, seven units, eight units, nine units, and if I had one more unit, what would I have? One ten. So we put the ten down and take away the units as if we're replacing them or exchanging them. Now let's see how many tens we have. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens, and if I had one more 10, what would I have? One hundred. You place the hundred down, take the tens away. And when you, are ha when you put these down, you wanna make sure you're building them into the shape of the next number. So we have our hundred. Let's count and see how many hundreds we have. 100, 200s, 300s, see I'm stacking them, 400s, 500s, 600s, 700s, 800s, 900s, and if I had one more 100, what would I have? One thousand. We take the hundreds away and then we have our thousand. And so they can see now how we're building each of these numbers with what we already have, which is our groupings of 10. So once our children are comfortable with this, you can actually start to do the number cards. And you would do it in the same way that we just did the the beads but only this time with the number cards and I like to actually use the smaller cards I just don't have my units right now but essentially you would give the same lesson with the number cards so one unit two units three units so on and so forth till you get to nine and then you would put ten into the tens until they have all of them laid out and then they can fully see how many numbers there are that go in to building these very large numbers, which ultimately will get them comfortable with what's to come, which is the bank game, which is a full understanding of building huge numbers, addition, exchanges, and it's a really fun group game to play with children. Now I should mention, we can have other children watch this lesson, however I would recommend just doing this as a one-on-one -on -one so that they can really focus and understand what it is you're telling them. Well, if you have any questions or comments, 
please feel free to write in the column below and also be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.